this excess oil. <sighs> it's got a ton. Almost looks like almost looks like two cycle oil. Or it's just old, old crap. Okay, dump a bunch of that out. Okay, good. Stop. Shouldn't even be that much in there, really. It's still coming out at that angle. Yeah. That's way too much. <clears throat> I think this thing might fire right up. All right. Let's kind of check and see what kind of level this is at. Now. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, it took a lot out, and it's about right there, so that should be fine. It's just below the full mark. Man, that is... It's like two-cycle oil. They might have just grabbed some two-cycle oil and put a whole quart in there. Over the top of what was already in there. Okay, so moment of truth here. Decent oil level. I'll bet the plug, let's check the plug real quick. <clears throat> Take a look at what's going on with it. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Okay, here, and this is about a, like a 5 eighths one. Blow this thing out. Maybe. Might have to. It's got a bunch of excess. I'm feeling this whole cylinder is going to be full. Man, this thing is uh, hanging on to the last thread. Okay. See if anything pours out of it. Okay, it's not pouring out. And the spark plug actually looks relatively dry compared to what the deck looked like and stuff. I mean, it's got maybe a little oil on it, but I'm going to squeeze that handle. I've got this. This is kind of nice for uh, just putting on the releasing the, the brake on off lever like this. So it just stays, and you can pull it. <clears throat> then you kind of get down here and pull it by hand, just at the string. And I'll take and put this plug in here, show you what I'm doing. And this is nice to do and check out when you're... Uh, when it's a little darker, it's easier to do, but we may be able to see it right here. Look right there where the uh, spark is, uh, the end of the spark plug. Okay, we got good spark. I can see that. So the plug's relatively clean. It's got spark. And let me put my finger just partially over the spark plug hole so it has to push past my finger. And let's see how much oil gets on my finger. Got good compression and there's not a lot of oil there's no oil uh getting pumped out of the cylinder so the cylinder is probably pretty pretty clean i'm getting to plug back in there i'm hoping this is the right plug for it it's firing good so anyway i'm gonna 
get this going here. I'll try it just on its own, see if it'll fire up. It may just start. We'll see. Okay, so that's on there. Okay. Give it a shot here. No primer, no nothing. Is this, this doesn't have a primer bulb. Nope. So it's got an auto choke of some kind. Okay. It's got gas in it. Carburetor may very well need to be cleaned out. Where is my uh, carburetor spray? I just had it last night. There it is. So we know it's got fire. We know it's got compression. It's not getting fuel for some reason. Probably. The carburetor is just dirty. So we'll be getting that next. If it fires up here, uh, we probably got a machine we can work with. Okay, so got a good oil level. I'm going to look around and see if I can find a cover. I think I have another air cleaner laying around for this. Uh, we'll wipe off the excess oil off of this thing, clean it up, and then with this <clears throat> cover right here, I'm going to see uh, getting these things on is just a, a real pain. I'm going to cut this real quick because it just looks like crap. <laughs> Um, I'll probably get some screws and just screw this thing into the side of the deck just to make it good and functional and sell it like that. So I might even have a bag for this thing. I have like three spare bags laying around that I never use. Okay, so this thing is uh, just got this wire on here and I don't know we put all this wire on it but this thing's functional it's functional so somebody just I don't know why they put that put that string in the wire on there okay so that's on there hopefully uh, I might just put uh, it looks like it might be a little dangerous might get something that uh, throws out It's not on there properly, it seems like. Yeah, it's not. So I have to get this back on there properly. It's a real pain in the ass, but I'll get it on the right way. Because they didn't put... Uh, it doesn't look like they put the... The rod through the hole properly on this thing. I think it's supposed to be up in here more. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to... When I get it going and flip the blade around, get it started and running, probably go cut with it a little bit and see if there's any excessive uh, grass coming out of the side here. If so, I might just put a screw right in here to keep that down so it's not throwing stuff back out at people. <clears throat> so it's safe. Uh huh. So what's next? Let's see. The wipe down. And then uh, spray it down a little bit, make it a little pretty. Oh, yeah, and the uh, air cleaner cover. And the bolts, looks like. Going to need to find a bolt for this right here so it doesn't. Okay, these aren't totally tight yet. They're pretty tight, but it needs another bolt for this so these don't pivot around like they're doing right now. Uh, better size bolts. They're missing right here. This is a little tiny one. It's not doing anything. I've got a couple extra that uh, something I can throw in there real quick. Okay, you got this wiped off. It's just the uh, grease that was all over the deck. The oil 
rather, goes all over the deck, and it actually kind of keeps the black stuff sort of shiny and black looking. Now, I'm just going to spray this down. Any general purpose, I would recommend just making sure that uh, if you're going to do something and just clean it off. I like making them clean. You get a little more money for them. I checked to see if I had the uh, air cleaner cover thing right there that goes on there. I don't. So what I do is I'm going to soak this down with a cleaner, let it soak for a few minutes, and then get uh, get the hose on it. So that's why I put the had some old rubber gloves and just stuck them in. This is for the uh, crankcase breather tube that goes in. That air comes into here and gets reburned. And this other one's actually the intake that goes into the engine. So I'm just making sure. Plug those holes up when I go to squirt it down with a hose. That water doesn't get up in the engine. So let's give this just a kind of a soaking of this cleaner. So it'd be cleaner all over. You know, those nasty tires make them pop a little bit, get it on this ground in dirt. Get on the black case there. Make it nice and clean looking. Okay, then let this sit for a while. Get it all over. Just let it soak in. Then we'll just run it, run a hose over it. Nothing major. Might wipe it down a little bit after that, but not going crazy. Just making it look nice. That's half the that's the thing right there, nice pictures with these. Okay, so I did not have an air cleaner. And I'm probably gonna just sell it as is. I'm not even gonna bother getting an air cleaner for it. I'll tell them they can go, I'll send them a link and they can order it if they want it or just run it without an air cleaner. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I'm just not gonna go get one. So, so far this is looking pretty good. And let me run back and see if I have a bag. I forgot to see if I have a bag. Um, then once I get the uh, the spray down, I'll uh, get the blade, flip back right side up, and it looked like it was totally fine and sharp. It was just upside down. So, so far, so good.